Okay, let's begin. We're going to begin with the roll down. Keep your legs parallel, bring your arms all the way up. Soften it on your knees and let's slap it, tuck your tailbone all the way down forward your heel. And we will begin to roll, focusing on stretching your spine. Slow down and with a roll, roll up. Inhale, exhale again, tuck your tailbone down over the floor and roll down. Roll it up. And two more repetitions, tuck your tailbone in and roll down for the good stretch on your spine again. Roll it up. Last one, and we're going to hold your arms down to the mat. And then here, as your fingers touching the mat, let's try to lengthen a little bit on your spine, straighten your spine. And then you're gonna bend the knees to try to lift the chest a little bit high. Keep your torso still, and we're gonna move just your legs to straighten and bend your legs. Keep your heels stable down. Focusing now on the hamstring stretch with the neutral spine. We're going for six, five, Four, three, two, last one. We're going to bend the knees as deep as we can. Three, two, one. Straight your legs. And again, one, two, three, and straight. Remain your feet parallel. Remain your heels pressing down. And straight. One, two, three, straight. One, two, three, straight. Two more repetitions. One, two, three, last one, we go in balance, let's try to keep good pressure on your heels, knees bend, bring your arms up to the quads and get reaching up, arms down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight, lift all the way up and we will continue rolling down as well, all right? All the way down. Hands walking forward. We're getting to the plank position. All right, let's articulate your ankle. So we're gonna flex your feet first and then lengthen and point. Flex, point, flex, point. Let's go for another four, three, two, Last one, flex your feet, lift your hips up in the air, give a good stretch, adjust the position of your feet so you feel comfortable, balance between your arms and your leg. And we're gonna press one heel at a time, down. One, and another. Your hips reaching as high as you can, so we are on the pike position. Pressing, give a good stretch on your calves, so the stretch coming through the bottom of your feet. Go another four, three, Two, last one, and we're going to raise both of heels up, and then we're going to press both of heels down, but keep your hips up in the air, so we're just reaching up with the hips high, then press the heels down, lift and press, lift and press, always pushing away from your hands, so be very heavy on your legs, light on your hands, going four, and three, two, last one, and then we're going to shift forward to the plank. Plank into and release again up to the plank. Into, forward, plank, into, pike, into, plank, into, pike, into, plank, into, pike, into. Let's go for another four repetitions. Four, five, three, five. Two, and last one, plank, pike, and we're going to lower the knees all the way down. Let's place the hips right under the shoulders and your knees right below your hips. You're going to extend your left leg and your right arm. You're going to move elbow to the knee, round your back, and then extend arch your back. Let's go eight, seven, six. the side of the wall, side center, side 
going to keep your leg up, so it's slightly rotating to the side. And then left will move up. Ten. Nine. So you're keeping outward rotation. Another two repetitions. Rolling up. Last one. Rolling up. Very nice. Bring your arms down. Let's straighten your left leg. Bend the right knee. Scoop and let's roll down. Articulating the spine. Slow, slow, slow. And then we go into reach with your shoulder blades over the floor as high as we can. Keep your knee reaching toward the forehead. Gently lift your other leg over the floor. And we're going to switch the legs. For six repetitions, switch, reaching out, four, three, two, very good, keep going, bring your arms behind your head, five, four, three, two, last one, bend your knees, bring your forehead over the knees, and then from here we're going to just straighten both of legs together choose the angle so your back can be pressing down throughout the exercise all right so here reach scoop reach here you go four three two last one and roll your back down Straighten your left leg down to the floor. Straighten your right leg and try to find a position that you can keep your legs straight around your ankle or maybe around the calf. And then walk your hands a little bit higher over the ankle so you can lift your shoulder blades up. 
please your other leg of the floor double pulls in one two switch the leg one two switch the leg one two switch one two one two switch one there you go two more repetitions two two last one one very good we switch in single leg press one press another press one press another another four repetitions four three two last one continue without your arms six five four three two last one bend your knees bring your knees over the chest rest a little bit and inhale to prepare exhale rolling up and balance very good, let's try to roll like a ball for six repetitions, rolling to the back, rolling up balance. Bring your forehead over the knees and close it as you can, so you can remain the position of the little ball. Another two, last one. Sitting tall, bring your legs in front of you, arms in front, inhale, so reach, reach, sitting tall, inhale. Again, reach, reach. Try to open your legs not too wide, not too close, just in line with the mat, so you can feel the stretch coming from your spine more than you feel it on your hamstrings. Reaching tall, tall, sitting tall. And again, reaching forward. One, two, sitting tall. One, two, sitting tall. Last one, repetition. One. Two, sit in tall, open arms, and we're going to twist. Rotate your palms up, one up, and we're going to reach down over the opposite leg. Two repetitions, reach, one, two. Sit in tall, rotate, one, two. Sit in tall, rotate, one, two. Tall, rotate, one, two. Tall, rotate, one, two. Okay. One, two. Very good. The last repetition for each direction. Okay. One, two. So bring your legs together, arms in front of you. Roll down with your legs straight, arms above your head. Inhale. Exhale. Forward. Reach. Grab your feet and stretch forward. And again to the back. Roll. Inhale. Exhale. Forward. Stretch. Another four repetitions down. And reach, stretch, roll into the back, rolling forward, last one, roll into the back, rolling forward, very nice, and then from here we're going to roll down and going to keep your torso down, your head down, but open your arms to the side, let's let your inner thighs and your quads work a little bit harder, so we will begin with your right leg, we're going to lift it up into down into keep your lower back pressing down throughout the exercise use your abdominal muscles to keep the belly in and your spine to the mat down into up into down into up into down into up into down into very nice lift that leg all the way up and we're going to open leg to the side 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 center up keep your shoulders stable palms stable and cross your leg all the way to other side up center open wide bring it center up cross keep the shoulders stable up center open wide bring it up center cross Center. Let's go for another two repetitions. Very nice, last one. And then we will continue with a circle. So if that's too much, you can soften in your knee and do the circle with your legs bare. But if you feel comfortable, let's go for full circle, straight leg all around. Twist your torso, bring your leg all the way open wide. Keep your hips wide open as your leg reaching to the side. The six circles, each direction, shoulders pressing down. We will re 
over the circle six. Good. 
heels as close over to your sit bones as you can. Chest wide open. You're gonna tuck your tailbone in and you're gonna roll your hips up to the bridge. Up, up, rolling down. When you're rolling up, let's try to keep your sit bones reaching over to your heels and your spine more neutral rather than arched. Lift, down, down. Your knees reaching away from your shoulders. I want to do focus on elongating on your thighs rather than lifting your hips higher. Up, up, down, down. Lift, down. Another four repetitions. Down. Three. Down. Two. Last one. We're going to hold it up. And as we're holding up, we're going to bring your right knee over the chest. All right? We're going to pull so your left hip up high. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Up, you're gonna straighten your right leg up and bend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Eight. You're gonna push through your leg, getting down into, up into, down into, up into, down into, up into down into up almost there another four repetitions keep your glutes reaching up up into down into up into two more one two lift last one one two lift bend the knee slow your foot down roll your spine down with control very nice let's repeat everything to other leg Lift your hips up to the bridge first. Lift your left knee over the chest. We're going to pulse your right hip up higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Holding it up straight, your left leg and bend. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. And we're gonna straight the leg. I'm gonna go it down into up into down into up into down into up into. Try to lift your hip a little bit higher. Don't let it collapse. We're having on the last repetition one. One, two, up, into, bend your knee, low your foot down, roll your hips down, press your knee over the chest, gently rock from side to side to release your lower back tension if you got any. Then we're going to cross your legs in front of you like a crisscross position and let's grab your feet just right there uh-huh yes like a little crab <laughs> exactly that's it and so from that we're going to roll forward and then bring yourself whoop, with some momentum rolling forward very good now from here let's see if you can let the feet go and you just kind of push forward more to bring yourself on your knees Gonna switch the position of your legs behind you. I'm gonna sit back. You're gonna roll. Bring it up. Forward. Switch position of your feet. Roll to the back. Forward. All the way in. Switch position of your feet. Roll into the back. Forward. Switch position. To the back. Let's go to the last one. the back and release the one. 
Very good. Legs turn to your side. All right. That was a fun one. <laughs> okay, let's place your elbow down. Get an upper body work. We will rotate your hands away from your elbow, away from your shoulder to the front corner of the mat. You can get in on the hip. You're gonna straight the arms to so make sure your elbow not collapsing behind you, but in line with your torso. You are try to work. Push your shoulder away from your ear. And let's go bend the elbow, but don't drop it all the way down. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one, your elbow getting down, but your torso remains still, so we don't want the collapse on the bottom waistline. You're going to spray the top leg, and only your top leg reaching up, so torso remaining still. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Last one, very nice circle, your legs around eight, seven, six, focus on the torso stability, five, belly in to the spine, four, three, two, reverse that circle, eight, seven, six, five, four, body uh, relax it on the arms you're gonna rest your head now down let actually rest your head completely on the bottom arm you're gonna place your other arm in front of you and what I wanted you try that bottom waistline let's alleviate it so you have a little gap between your waist and your mat and then we're gonna lift the top leg as high as it goes and without dropping your bottom waistline straight your other leg and bring it in front so one leg is in front one leg is behind Let's try to remain at gap in between the floor and the torso. You can use your arm for your support, but if you guys feel like you're confident, you can put your hand on the hip, which <laughs> that will challenge you so much more. All right, so here we are, your top leg reaching up and behind you, and the bottom leg reaching up and in front of you. We're going to do walking. One, two, one, two. Right, and focus on balancing your waistline off the floor. Right, I see you're trying to keep in your hand off the floor, which is really good. And it will make you feel that abductors way more. Another four steps. Three. Two. And last one, very nice, you will release, relax. Then keep your legs together and straight your bottom arm. You're gonna place your top arm just in front of you. Keep the bottom arm straight and rotate your palm up to the air. She just up. And then we're trying to use the front arm just to press it down to the floor, keep your legs on the floor. Let's try to lift your upper body. As high as go, keep your legs down and down, down. Very good, let's try to do another five repetitions. So we have six in total. Lift, lift, down, down. If that exercise seems to be impossible for you guys, keep your palm down, lift your up, pressing your arm down to the floor. Keep your legs stable, last repetition, right? Blowing down, rest your arm, rest your head on the bottom arm. Now both of legs reaching up, 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 down, down. And of course you want to keep your legs completely connected together. How your legs go, more your inner thighs is going to work. Three more repetitions. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Very good, last one. All right, push into the hardest arm and legs together at the same time. Lift into the banana up, lift, down, low, up, 
left, down, no, no, on the blades. And a good work on this exercise. Let's go for a few more repetitions, three, down, two, ready to hold it, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, very nice, relax, flip on your belly, straight your arms in front of you. Very nice, looking down, and we're going to lift your arms and legs at the same time to the back extension. Lift, into, down, into, up, into, down, into, up, into, down. Into few more positions, lift, lift, down, two. Ready to hold it? And we will continue with the swimming. Arms and legs remaining straight and with swim force remaining stability. Swimming eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release and we're gonna turn to your other side. Okay, we can slow turn to the side. Um, so let's continue and try to remember what we did on the other side. So the first thing, I remember it was the arm work. So we are on your feet with your hand pointing over the front corner of the mat. We are trying to elevate the bottom waistline so we're not collapsing on a banana shape. And then we try to lock the elbow down and watch your elbow facing over to your hip. All right. Let's go up and I will try not to drop your elbow completely down for 10 repetitions. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one, elbow will go down, but you'll straight the top leg. Watch your bottom waistline to be in line at the same short like a top waistline. All right, let's lift your top leg. Another six repetitions here. Six, five, four, three, two, holding it up, let's circle for eight. Eight. Try to bring your leg to the back as much as you're bringing it to the front. So not only kick forward, but move center and back with your total torso stability. Watch your bottom waistline and watch your torso from moving. Another two circles. Reverse. Back. Around. Two. Around. Three. Four. Five. Last one, we're going to release your upper body all the way down, relax your head on the bottom arm, press your top arm in front of you for now and lift your legs up, bottom leg will be in front of you, your top leg will be behind you. Remember if you was using your hand on the hip or it was on the floor, but we want to elevate the bottom waistline, just gently off the mat, head down, walking, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and last one. Oof, that was challenging for me on that side and we're going to relax your legs on the floor top hand getting on the mat in front of you the bottom arm straighting down you can choose with your palm down to the floor or your palm off i'm gonna lift the upper body up down down up up down down for more repetitions four three Two. Last one. And relax your 
relax your head we're gonna lift both of legs together up in the air down down lift lift down down up up down down lift lift down mm -hmm. lift into down into last one all right pushing through with arm and legs in the same time up lift lift down down up lift down low up into down into up into down into two more repetitions all right last one and we go and try to hold eight seven six five four three two and one and release very good all right so let's go for last one time on your belly Open your legs apart and let's press your heels down toward the floor. Flex your feet as much as you can. Place your hands right below your shoulders and your elbows down to the floor. Send your sit bones toward your heels so you want to alleviate your belly button off the mat. Create a little space between the belly and the floor. And we will try to keep your elbows down as you lift your upper body up. Down into. So try to lift your upper body as high as it goes without lifting your elbows. Lift, down, down, up, up, down. So if that force you to send your shoulders all the way away from your ears down towards your lower back. Keep your elbows heavy. Engage your triceps and lift in the torso up. Up, up, down. Press your fingers down, we will progress. So lift your upper body up, press through your fingers, lift your elbows straight up. Then lower your elbows first, then lower your torso. Chest up, elbows down, press your elbows up. Down, down, lower your torso. Watch your elbows from moving to the sides of the wall, so your elbows moving just over to your hips. And again, chest, press your fingers, lift the elbows, press your elbows down. And two more repetition. Up, up, down, down. Last one. Let's try to hold it. Very good. Can you lift one arm? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift on the arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Lower your torso down. Bring your legs over to each other. Let's press the rest in the toes. And then we go into sit in the marmite position. So what is the marmite? You are sitting on the hips with your both of legs swing toward one side. We try to force ourselves to place both of sit bones down to the floor as much as comfortable. Um, other leg is just relax. If that's too much, you still have time to grab some yoga block and maybe place it on the hips so you can feel comfortable. All right, so here we are. So we're working like a mirror, so we're going to work together toward your right side. So the first, you're gonna lift your left arm up. And then we're going to reach all the way out until your elbow reaching down. You're in a good stretch there all the way very nice and rotate and place your arm down but reaching away from your torso trying to square your shoulders rotate to your side low your hip down to the floor bring yourself up put your hand just on the side of, uh, of your torso and we're going to press over to your left side keep your left arm straight you're trying to force your hip to the floor and then release and let's go again move your hand away from your torso first and reach place your elbow down in a good stretch here and then you rotate and you reach in your way you're trying to move your fingers away from your torso as much as you can and rotate your chest down to the floor rotate again through your side bring yourself up put your hand and press your hip down Spread your top arm, spread your fingers. 
Okay, good. Let's go to the last one. All the way out. Reach. Rotate. All the way as much as you can. Rotate to your side. Place your hip down to the floor. Increase the pressure by leaning over. Very good. And let's repeat the other side the same. Switch the legs from our main position. Your arm to the side. Reaching, moving your hand first so you have good range of motion. Reaching over, placing your elbow down. Straight the arm. And as you're rotating, try to place your arm all the way down. Your shoulders getting equally square down to the floor. Rotate. Bring yourself up. Press your hip down to the floor and increase the pressure by leaning over that hip. Alright, and again. Up and over. Rotate and reach. This is a good stretch on your lat, on your tricep, on your lateral torso. And then here, opposite side, stretch on your hip flexor. Bridge, trying to place your hip a little deeper down to the mat. Let's repeat one more time. Over, 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 and rotate. Trying to place your head and your shoulders down to the mat. Rotate to your side. Up. Place your hip down and increase the pressure to your hip by reaching over your head. Very good. Here your legs will open to the full straddle. We will continue with the inner thigh stretch. Put the hands in front of you. Lift your chest up. Gently walk your hands forward. Try to elongate in your lower back as much as you can. So use your hands as a help to lift your chest higher. Your legs. Bring your arms up. We go now rotate over to your 
Right side, put your hands down to the floor, push away from your fingertips. Rest here, a little bit more release in line with your back shoulder. Bring your arms up, center, ready to other side. Place your hands down, push away from the fingertips to lift your torso a little high away from the earth. Your knees reaching down and rest right into the back. Center, very good. Arms reaching in front of you. All the way forward as far as you can. Release your sitting pool. One more time, we're going to switch position of your legs. And let's bring your arms forward and stretch. Thank you. I'm getting better. I feel better. <laughs> That's good.